the ocean. Discover the weird and wacky things that live there. Come see playful otters, wild dolphins, gentle manatees, and dangerous sharks. As we move into Atlantic waters, we will find the cow nose ray. Cowno's rays are social animals. These rays migrate in schools of thousands. They occasionally jump above the surface and land with a large smack. This is thought to be a territorial display. These rays find their food by flapping their wing-like flippers to kick up the sand. Then they open up their mouths to scoop up fish. Like all rays, Kano's rays have a poisonous barb that they use to fend off predatory sharks. A close relative of the Kano's ray is the spotted eagle ray. This ray is recognizable as Mr. Ray in Finding Nemo. They can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. A close relative of the spotted and Kano's ray is the manta ray. This is easily noticeable by their similar swimming patterns. The common stingray is much different than that of the two we have just seen. It swims in a wave pattern. Notice the difference in depth between these two rays. Common stingrays prefer to stay near the ocean floor. This way they can keep themselves buried under the sand.
They do this for two reasons. One, to hide from sharks. Two, to ambush prey. Their eyes are on top of their bodies so they can hide in the sand and watch for prey. Like sharks, stingrays can sense the electrical pulses of potential prey. The blue tang comes in a variety of colors. These fish can live alone in pairs, or in groups of 10 or 12. In the background, you can see another tang called the powder blue tang. This fish has many different names. the sturgeon fish, the hippo tang, and regal tang are a few examples. Here is another blue tang. This one goes by many names too. Two examples are the Pacific Blue Tang and Dory. This fish can grow up to 12 inches long. A similar fish to the blue tang is the Nassau tang. These fish also go by many names. such as the unicorn fish, lipstick tang, and lipstick sturgeon fish. Though Nassau tangs do not have a long nose, they actually are a type of unicorn fish. These fish can live up to 20 years. There are 114 types of butterfly fish. These are vagabond butterfly fish. You will see several different butterfly fish in this section. They are very fast swimmers. Most butterfly fish have a stripe going down their eye near the end of their body to confuse predators. This way, the predator can't predict which direction the fish will flee. Some butterfly fish are solitary, while others live in pairs for life.
Closely related to the butterfly fish is the angelfish. This is a blue vein angelfish. An Australian leopard shark, also known as a zebra shark, is swimming near the surface. They spend most of the day resting on the bottom because they hunt at night. Nurse sharks do the same. Nurse sharks can reach length of 14 feet and weigh up to 330 pounds. They can live up to 25 years. When lit up from behind, you can clearly see the unborn shark pups inside these eggs. Panther groupers like to hide in small crevices like this one. This grouper is a carnivore and likes to eat crustaceans and squid. This is a Moorish idol. known as Gil in Finding Nemo. Moorish idols like to stay in small groups. The main predator of this fish is the moray eel. They are comfortable living in depths anywhere from 10 to 600 feet deep. As we travel to the Indian Ocean and through the rivers of Asia, we will find the Asian River Otter. This is a family of brothers and sisters. Otters live in groups called lodges. The older siblings will help out in raising the younger ones. These otters are considered to be the most vocal of the 13 species. They have over a dozen different calls and warnings. <laughs> 